To another video, uh, it's another one in the series we're doing where we're basically travelling the world to taste snacks. Um, not literally, we um, we get sent a universal yum box every month. Um, so yeah, we've done also Ukraine and we've done Israel, and now we're on to the next one, which is a pretty easy one to guess straight away. I can know exactly what it is by the clue on this box. A place with Gangnam style. And it's Sai. So straight away I know that's going to be South Korea. Uh, what do I know about South Korea? Not a lot really. I know the capital Seoul. Um, and I know a couple of famous people. Sai, Gangnam Style. And obviously Sun Gu Min, who plays Tottenham Hotspurs. That's about it. That is basically my limit of South Korea. So, yeah. This could be interesting. So, here we go. Here's our little South Korea. The map. The yellow walls in the back. Uh, booklet, you're going to need this to sort of guide us where we're going. And now, uh, let's just tip all this out so that really we've got in here. Oh, there's a few things to say which would be interesting if we both try this one. Um, mmm, okay. okay. Nice savouries and little sweet things. I want sweet. You want to go sweet first? Yes. Okay. Why don't yes. you start the ultimate sweet, the yum bag? Okay. Let's see what Let we've got in the... There's two different. Oh, yeah. There's, I don't know if these are pronounced right, there's Jeju Tangerine Jelly and Mamo's Rice yes. Candy. Oh, okay, yeah, so we've got four of these ones and two of those ones. Tangerine so. flavoured gummy or rice flavoured hard candy. Right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Rice flavoured hard candy. Okay, that should be interesting. Right, so there's, we've got four of these ones. No, so I only want one. Oh, right, there. right, so these are the two different types. So this is oh, the. Oh, yeah, it feels nice, nice and soft, the jelly one. That's the rice candy. And that's the jelly. Uh, which one are we doing first? Can we do the hard one first? Yeah. Are you sure? Because this says candy jelly. That's jelly yeah, one. that's jelly. This is hard candy. It says oh. rice candy. Why not? After spending a long hot summer growing rice in paddy fields, South Korean farmers are eager to use their crops in a very a variety of foods. No matter oh, how... Yeah. An oh, it's sticky. Yes. It kind of looks like one of those uh, glacier mints. Yeah, it's sticky. <laughs> okay, I'm a bit iffy on this. Oh god. Um, it oh, tastes Jesus. like it tastes like Cheerios. Mmm. I'm eating a the, sweet um, that tastes like Cheerios. It's really weird. That's a really weird. Come on, some uh, They're sweets. With the weird flavours. Like in my mouth right now. No, you know what I mean. The, the game we played. You spin it around and you have to well, being being boozled. Boozled. Yes. No. I it one of flavours. Apparently they make rice out of everything. They make fried balls of rice flour, alcoholic drinks, right. bean stuffed rice cakes. Um, so yeah, apparently making hard sweets. I can't finish that. That's really weird. No. Very strange. I don't like Cheerios. That is exactly what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. uh, this says this is no or this is no ordinary tangerine. Bright tangy orange hails oh, wow. from South Korean island of Jeju, famous for its warm weather, gorgeous greenery, and vibrant blue waters. Oh, it's sticky on the bottom. Really it looks good. I don't like sticky stuff. It's like, I, I, can't, really I don't know whether the camera it. roll... I'm scared. Hmm. Okay, let's give it some to go. Can we move the box so the dog isn't eating stuff, please? Um... It's okay. Um, the other one we had. Yeah. Not 
really much flavour to it though. No, it's a bit old strippy. Mm. It's like a diluted Jaffa cake feeling. <laughs> and it says that because of the where was it? Um This is something about volcanic. Yeah, the tangerines are grown in rich volcanic soil, making them sweeter and tarter than any other orange in South Korea. Mm. Um no. Okay. It's alright. Mm. We got sweet and sour, chewy, strawberry sweets. Um mm. nothing controversial about a strawberry, guess again. During the 2018 Winter Olympics in, um, I can't pronounce that, Winter Olympics, P Pyeongchang, maybe, an athlete on the Japanese female curling team was photographed eating one. When she described the, when she described the strawberry as surprisingly delicious at a press conference, she reignited a decade-old debate between, between Japan and South Korea. Japan claim that strawberries are theirs, um, as they brought them to South Korea, but South Korea claimed that they worked hard to create a new blend of Japanese variety. So uh, that's a UK view is basically something to chew it. Oh yeah. That's meant to be sweet Sorry. and sour. Sorry, I already bit into it, sort of. Mm. It's meant to be sweet and sour, actually. Yeah. Sweet and sour strawberry, that sounds pretty interesting. Mm. Um. Oh, it's really chewy. It's more like a um, a frutella than a chew it. Mm. Chew it's are more um, artificial. Mm. I don't think that's sour. Oh, okay, I quite like that. I don't think that's sour. Yes, that's I like it. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Well, right, what else have we got? Mmm. <clears throat> I'm kind of scared because it says white torte. I'm not a big fan of. Oh, I don't like white stuff. I don't know. It feels like a, a wafer in here. Um, let me on. Oh, yeah, I found it. Sweet biscuit with mascarpone cream filling. Mm. Well, this sounds like it might be that. You know that? Do you remember that thing from Ukraine that had like that cheese filling? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Why? Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Well, mine's broken. Um, I thought it was kind of funky. This is um, pe Peparo Day. It's like, I think South Korea's equivalent of Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah. Chocolate based holiday in South Korea called, oh, White Day. Mm. Okay, I've had a few crumbs, so I think they're actually they're nice. Oh, I can't. It's broken. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, mine's on. broken. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's kind of like. Now there is a very slight um, centre. I don't know whether. Oh yeah. Very thin layer. Very very thin layer. Right. Um, the camera won't be focused on you. Anyway. No, I like this. Yeah. It's really good actually. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, wow, that's pretty damn good. Yes, yeah, so is there equivalent? It's typically the women, not the men, who buy chocolate for their sweethearts. No, so they've got it the other way around. No, I get the. Um, oh, hang on. The taste of you the didn't white buy chocolate, me any chocolate. Not much. Because it's not overpowering white chocolate, which is good. No, that's nice. That is like a perfect blend. Really nice texture to it. That mm. is pretty damn good. Really good, actually. Mmm. Mmm. Where do we go now? We've got a, a victory pie, which looks like a blueberry biscuit. Um, the, the green, no, the other green packet. Oh, we've got this chocolate thing here. No. Yes. Mm. That scares me. Oh yes, this could be interesting. I can see that from here. <laughs> Choco pie green tea. Yeah. Wow. Mmm. Hang on, let me... This going to be very interesting. Oh, chocolate wow. coated green tea cake. With marshmallow filling, so what is there it's equivalent kind of, of like a tonic? <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. Another. What does it look like inside? Oh, oh yeah, it's kind of like a mint arrow. Can I split this well? Yeah. It's, like, it's basically looks like a wagon wheel. With, well, this is going to be green tea, but. 
Right. Okay. I've kind of split it. Hang on. Yeah, so you've got like the, the wagon wheel centre mm. and then... Hey. You know what a wagon wheel is? We'll put a picture up of a wagon wheel to show you. That's how we make the first. Um. Okay. Oh! This has managed to actually traverse one of the most dangerous borders in the world. The one between South and North Korea. Apparently yeah. they're both lovers of it. Oh. Mm. I don't think it's bad or terrible. Now, at one point, these were given to North Korean factory labourers as work bonuses instead of cash. I was going to say that, it's quite dry. Hmm. I'm not phased by it, I think it's, it's quite dry. It's dry, it tastes... I don't know what it tastes like. It doesn't taste like green tea. I can't get a bit of tea flavour, but not... It's not overpowering, which is good. No, I quite like that. Career mm. for the win. Doing well so far. Mmm. Really impressed so far. Giving the Ukraine a run for the money. Yeah, I like that. Really well, good. Yeah, because there's only one thing that I couldn't finish, and that was that weird rice thing. Hmm. No, uh, I don't know what this is. Mm, that is. Oh, I think I don't. That's not sweet. That's everything, is it? Well, soy sauce. Soy sauce. Hmm. Oh, wow. okay. Um. Yeah, okay. Yeah, That's chocolate and hazelnut cream filled wafer. Yeah. Okay, we've got one each of these, so. Mm. So far, it's going really good. Really well. I love how. Should I tell you what I have noticed? Just, mm. just wait a minute. If you look at. Look at the choco pie. If I can get this to focus. They've got a little open thing. And then on the white thing, just in case you didn't know, is where you open it. Oh, so I And it I, I don't think the little ones, sorry, thing. you're not in focus at the minute because I'm looking at the other mm. wrappers. And then this one that you've just given me, oh look, open. They like to tell you where to open things. Yes. Um, That's an interesting thing. What was meant to oh, apparently this out, was in, they've done South Korea before. This box hmm. uh, voted one of the favourites in the box. Okay. Crispy, creamy, and totally dreamy. It kind of looks like a um, a bit like a kind of bueno-ish. Oh yeah, never complaints for me. Now, let me just bite into it. Hang on. Hmm. I can't hold it still. Mmm. Mm, I like the bags. This is going so well. Mm. It's so close to perfect that we took on the impossible challenge of finding something even just a little bit wrong with it. But thought, at first we thought it might be too much vanilla wafer and not mm. enough chocolate hazelnut cream. But we gave it another taste and we were wrong. <laughs> really good again. Really good. Mmm. Um, I like that. Yeah. Okay. So right now, there's only one thing that I couldn't eat. Mm. You try one of these um, stick things, almond and chocolate things. Okay. Let me find it. Um. At 11 minutes past 11, many people stop to make a quick wish. But in South Korea, the number's significantly different. Uh, significant. Uh, in South Korea, the numbers signify something a little different. Again, look, it's Paparo Day again. They can't have when this day is. So not a knobby chocolate stick thing. <laughs> so this is almond and chocolate, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. November 11th, South Korea, is the South Korea celebrates the holiday by giving loved ones these crunchy chocolate coated sticks. I want these on the 11th of November, please. Again, no complaints. Can't fault it. Mmm. I feel... Oh, that's good. The stick itself is kind of more savoury. Just the end bit. Mm. Yeah. It's almost salty. Yeah. Wow. Mmm. Jesus. Yeah. I'm going to need to separate it, 
So good. Now let's uh, try one of these called the Victory Pies. Victory Pies. Crown Blueberry Vic Pie. Oh, I like it blueberry. <coughs> Chocolate covered mm. cookie with oh, yeah. blueberry jam filling. And look, again, again, again. Just in case you were unsure, I might focus because you're moving. There you go. Where to open it? Yeah, I'm sitting in that one as well. Box of bread open and the packaging of bread open. They really like opening things. So to us, it kind of looks like a, a bit like a chocolate digestive. Oh, mine's broken. But on the back, we've got Crown Victory. It's actually on top, so the bottom is the chocolate base. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's quite soft inside. Layered as well, like proper layered up. I don't really focus on yours very well. Mm. Mm. Oh. See, I can't see the layers. I don't know where the, where the half. Yeah, you can see in here, you've it's got like the jam. Mm. Mm. It smells really blueberry. Mm. I really like this. <laughs> mm. This is so damn good. I love blueberry things like muffins and that, but this. A decade ago, hardly mm. any South Koreans ate blueberries. But when the international media dubbed them a superfood, the demand exploded. Wow. That is really good. I really like that. Mm -hmm. The victory pie. Mm. See, I'm not keen on blueberry, but I like that. Really good, actually. Right. Uh, we're more oh. into the savoury stuff now, then. What's that brown packet? Brown packet. Oh. Choco corn puffs. Mm. Chocolate and coconut flavoured corn puffs. No idea what this is. that next. Okay. It's a bag full of air. This says no matter how much you love chocolate or don't, is there an open thing on that? Is that of interest? I'm really intrigued now. No. Huh. Okay, maybe not on everything maybe. No matter how much you love chocolate or don't, we guarantee you've never tasted it quite like this. Light airy puff is infused with chocolate and coconut oh. inside and out. You love chocolate, what's it? Oh, well, okay, that's what you think they look like. <laughs> yes. Um, they feel a bit moist. Yeah, kind of, yeah. They don't feel dry like what's it? <laughs> no. There's a milli scent. I can't think what. Yes. Oh, those pink wafer things. No, they yes. don't taste like chocolate. No, these don't taste like chocolate. Yes, they do. Not really. These taste like those pink wafer things. Like those things joking. from Ukraine? No, like in England we get this pink wafer. Yeah, I know, but yeah. we had those things from Ukraine that were like the pink wafer. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. I can't really taste mm -hmm. chocolate that much. So I can taste chocolate. Wow. It reminds, no, me, of, it reminds me of Nesquik. No. It reminds me of Nesquik. 100% reminds me of Nesquik. Again, I can't... I'm not a big chocolate person, but no, they're, they're, they're pretty good. That's why we've done the whole sweet thing first, because mm. Ukraine, we did the savoury first, then we went to the sweet, and it was like a complete letdown from the savoury. Mm. And then Israel, we did the sweet first, and then we moved on to the savoury, and well, it was just a letdown. But yeah, sweet-wise, South Korea has just walked it the other one so far. That's, down. yeah, everything in here I've really liked. Right, let's try one of these things, whatever this is. Um, I can't pronounce what it's actually called. Um, it's a, a Shamsul Sengua, maybe? Soy flavoured rice crackers. Oh yeah, I've got a couple of them, yeah. Oh, wow. It says, you're about, to taste, you're about to get to taste South Korea's rich history. As in, back to 1500 BC. Mm. I 
It's a bit. <coughs> What's mm. it look like? I don't know. <laughs> I've seen no, I've seen something similar and I don't know what. Oh. I like that. What does it taste like? Um there's rice crackers over here. I don't know if it's sensations. Oh, yeah. mm. Might specifically be sensations that do ones that taste very similar. Mm. Well, usually is a good. Not my favourite thing of that, but rice nice. apparently used to be used as a currency. But don't think pennies, think hundred dollar bills. It mm. was co considered such a luxury food that it was too valuable for the common people to eat. Mm. Even the farmers that grew it. You could determine a person's social status just by looking at how much rice they had stowed away. Right, so we're going to move on. Mm. We've got three left now. You have the choice what you want next. We've got cheddar cheese kettle chips. We've got hot chicken crunchy corn puffs. Or a sweet and spicy wheat snack. Mm. The one of the hot ones. This one actually says hot on it, so I'm guessing it's good. I've already used the hottest one. Okay. Let me find it. Hot Gang Jung chicken snack. Mm. Sweet and spicy fried chicken flavoured corn puff. Not suitable for vegetarians. Mm. So for any of you Vegetarians, so I'm going to find this. They look like popcorn. No, I think it tastes like knickknacks. <laughs> it looks like popcorn. Nice and spicy, not, uh, no, yeah, nice and spicy knickknacks to me. Yes. Mm. But not the same texture. No. But it should say, it says, tastes exactly like fried chicken. I can see it, it tastes like, to me, if it's any of it, it tastes like those um, you get from Chinese shop, chicken oh, bottles the, thing with the sweet mm. sour sauce. Kind of like that. Nice though. They are nice. Mm. The US troops, right okay, here you go. Prior to the Korean War, it was customary to steam chicken in Korea, but when the US troops introduced the country to deep fried variety, it became an overnight sensation. Mm. There you go. Yeah. Um, Okay, oh, I like those. Oh, chicken ones. Yeah, really good. Let's move on to the sweet and spicy wheat snack. I'm not even going to try and pronounce this. <laughs> yeah, to to take a bocky snack maybe. Sweet and spicy wheat. <clears throat> sweet and spicy wheat snack. Which you're just. Crepes it on ahead of me. Mm. They look like wheatos. Wheat, no, wheat crunchies. It kind of has a bit minty for some reason. Oh, guess what? Relates back to rice. That to Tekaboki um, is a famously bright red South Korean dish which means stir fried rice cakes. Mm. So to me, it doesn't taste like sweet sour though, at all. No, it's not really that hot. It's, got, it's, it's reminding me of something, but I'm trying to think what. The chicken was hotter. Yeah. Oh, what does it remind me of? It was only served to royals. Oh, this, is, this is annoying because it's familiar to something. I can't think what. Mm. I'm not getting a familiar to something. It's kind of like, almost got like a honeyish coating. I don't know yeah, whether. It's not sweet sour at all. So you can see like that glistening. That is honestly that glisten. It's almost like it's been coated in honey. It's like a honey coating. Yeah, yeah it's like a glazed type thing, isn't it? Oh, don't get me wrong. They're good. Oh yeah. What does it remind me of? I don't know. They don't really remind me of anything other than like to look at them they look like wheat crunchies. Oh, I have to keep thinking of it what it tastes like. It reminds me of. It's definitely something. 
Sorry. Right, We've not okay. got long left. Let's move on to the next one, the final one actually. Cheddar cheese kettle chips. Hmm. South Koreans are totally obsessed with cheese. Good. Yeah. Each year they spend over $500 million on cheese imports, making their cheese market the third fastest growing in the world. You don't get many of these facts. <laughs> their cheesy obsession isn't just a number, it's melted right into South Korea's culture. In Seoul, it's fashionable to wear a t-shirt or sweater that just says the word cheese. Okay. So, they really like cheese. I like cheese. I think me and South Koreans would get on. Oh wow. So they are literally just like any old normal kettle chip. <coughs> Crisp for those in the UK. Real powerful flavour. Mmm. Oh not necessarily God. how I associate cheese though, when I think of cheese crisps over here. No, but more cheesy. Ours always mix with something, it's cheese and onion, or cheese mm. and something, or yeah. cheese and it's like a wheat snack that has a flavour that takes over from the cheese. Mm. This is just cheese. There's nothing else. They're, they're, they're obsessed with cheese. There's cafes that serve slices of cheesecake that are made to look like wedges of cheese. Mm. They like cheesy pizza, but they have snails, figs, sweet potato and calamari on it. Mm. There's a... Oh my god. To top it all off, there's a popular cheese theme park where you can go on cheese-inspired rides and oh, make nice. your own cheese on site. Mm, lovely. Right. Wow. I want to go to the cheese theme park, please. Right, score-wise, I'm going to think about this one. I'm going to put the score on... I'm not going to video finish this because I need to think about it as well because this is a very... This is close. Where Ukraine was and then where Israel is. That was a massive it's difference. It's definitely going to be... Oh, it's beating Israel. Oh, Israel, yeah. And it's very... Is, it's it's probably, so close. I think because of the sweets were really good as well, not just the savoury. I think it's going to be top. But can we give it a 10? I don't know. I want to reflect on it. Are we going to drop perfection. Israel down? Israel will be going down, yeah, even further. But it's how what I score next because it's obviously, I personally think it's the best one. Um, I think no, I don't. I have no hesitation in this that this is better than Israel. So it doesn't matter who's ten because you've only got three at the minute. I think Israel, Ukraine, South Korea. Yeah, well, I think we South Korea take top. Out, out of ten, that's what I'm saying. So yeah, I think about it. We'll put it on the end of the video what we come up with. But, um, I think we need really to change it real... to just a scoreboard of where we place them yeah. compared to everything. Okay. But yeah, that's a real strong food wise, mm. really. This, what's very, left isn't going to last It's so long. hard to fault. Apart from that one sweet, maybe the other one's a bit weird. But you know, the two oh, out the... of this bag. A bit strange, but. Yeah, hard. Everything else, it's, you, can't, you can't knock it. It's nothing bad. Even green tea. That was good. Chocolate pies. I can't fault it. Like blueberry biscuit, oh, that's great. I have finished everything you've given me, except that rice thing. Mm. That's, that's the first good. one. Yeah, I can't, I, I, 